This year's coverage of Mining Disrupt 2023 is brought to you by our sponsors. Dynex Coin, Hivon, Conceal Network, Alfium, Jingle Mining, Yeti Audits, Deep Miners Pool, The Beginner's Block, Doge Lord Coffee, and WhatToMine.com. Check out our sponsors linked in the description below. Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and we're at the backside of Mining Disrupt 2023 where we're looking at the Intelliflex 3 system. Now, this is the transformer that we see in front of us, but behind it is the actual unit that does have AC, and then the dry cooler is all above it. Now, you can see all the ports for plumbing to run everything uh, towards the top. Let me try to zoom in real quick for you. Uh, you can see the ports, right? Some of them are plugged off right now. Some of them are open, and the pipes will run from the bottom to the top, and these are actually AC units out here because you want to keep the internals cool. There's a lot of metal in there um, and a lot of surface area. This is the transformer. The Mega Box 3 is what they call it. The breaker room. Uh, and I mean, this is kind of, this is what you would call a large scale operation all in one system. And let me take you inside. These guys did a really good job uh, with this entire setup. Me and uh, BBT Todd from Bisbee Trippin' were having quite uh, a time with it. You can see Thank you. all the various containers in here. It's a little bit louder, but we got everything we need. You've got three rows. One, two, three, where we can have ASICs in there. Let me take you to a section that doesn't have a lid so you can look inside. You've got your panels and everything that you need right here. Uh, we could actually see various details about it. Obviously, not everything is on right now. Uh, this is a dummy unit, but we can see everything, our pump, our coolants, uh, our pods. And these pods, I guess you could say, have different uh, measuring tools. So obviously thermal sensors, your leveling guide, all kinds of stuff. We can see the pump speeds, we can see the fan speeds. Your networking equipment is up top. We got four of these actual um, containers power. for power, and then here's your leveling sensor, and then your thermal sensor. I'm sure we can add more if we really needed to. Uh, looks like we got some good breakers in here, EU breakers. Good. Uh, and then your various ports to plug in directly. Uh, if you look at the height, though, it's kind of. I don't know. It, it, I don't know if the What's Miner M30S will fit in here too well. It would in the back. I mean, it will fit in the back, but then the level. Like, if you fill it up towards here, right, then that will only put the level right here. So I think it wouldn't be high enough for the M30S to sit in here. This only fit, this kind of feels more like a Bitmain S19J Pros XPs type setup. What do you think? I mean, yeah, I mean, they basically set these ones up for, this is all for single phase right now. It can run. Uh, dual phase miners, but they can fit. I think he said a thousand plus uh, S19s in here. But if we want to go higher than that and crank the voltage, half, cut it directly in half. Um, but I agree. If this is an overflow back here in the back uh, where it would cascade over, it's very possible. But because of the way the pipe is set in there, I don't, it may not be an overflow. Um, it may just be actually where fluid just kind of cascades, cascades out down, to yeah. create the effect of like a waterfall. So right now uh, you're looking at where the fluid would be coming in at, and at the very bottom of these, these, these have holes. Oh, in the that, that's excuse me, well. that's that's the inflow, right? So that's where yeah. the liquid's coming in at the bottom of each of these pipes, going all the way down, and recirculating up there. And this goes down pretty deep. You can see how deep that is. That's basically three shelves or three units. And again, you got triple stack. And right. coming down here is the piping and the pumps, right? So we got pumps, we got right here in the middle, but then there's one on either end, and then two more on either end. And these pumps are the big boys. Uh, most of everything in here is powered and managed through the Siemens technology. Um, if I could get the key, I would show you that. But Intelliflex and the team did a really good job. Like me, BBT Todd, Crypto Mikel, uh, you know, Mike, uh, Mr. Carter from uh, Bitsby Trippin, 
we're kind of nerding out in here. Plus, it feels great. There's actual AC in here. Now, why would you want AC? Well, these are giant heat sinks, right? Uh, if you can kind of absorb some of that heat out of these containers, not only through the liquid, that will make your life a little bit easier. Plus, it will be very hot in here, even if you were running immersion cooling. It would be very not hot in here for the maintenance people to work in this environment with no AC. So those units outside are AC. The pipes go out towards the top, towards the dry cooler, as I mentioned before. And I really am just impressed with the overall design of this thing. For six uh, megawatts. How many? Six megawatts. This is this whole deployment. This six. is a six megawatt container yeah. deployment. Deployment. Right. Drop, because we plug get in play because you have the transformer outside, and then you have this. So you can literally just drop this and the transformer on location. On site. And basically, be almost plug and play. You know, once you hook up the transformer, but that's all you would have to do. This is literally all the infrastructure needed in one package for. A situation like this, uh, for an all-in-one situation, like this is this is top notch. No, this is pretty good. And there is your network ports, status of the network, your network switch, and it looks like we got routing for the wiring on either side of the actual individual containers. Um, I mean, just really, really overall great design. Uh, of this entire system. If you, if you have a farm or a location you want to deploy immersion cooling, you definitely want to check out IntelliFlex. I'll try to find their information and link. Matter of fact, they have a card down here. Let me see if I can get the uh, here, I have one here, my the container open here. Uh, if I can find the key. Oh, there you go. If you guys need anything, reach out to Abby at UrekaDigitalMining.com. And this is called the Power Hub 3, Teleflex 3, and then you saw the Mega Box outside, which seems to be their uh, breaker room slash uh, where you would connect your electrical for this entire facility. So we're looking at the Teleflex module. Uh, this is one of the Power Hubs that again is running all Siemens uh, technology to you know, manage your power and everything for your immersion container. Again, this is an all-in-one unit that the IntelliFlex team puts together. You can see one of the fans that Red Panda Mining used, uh, or I, I forgot who used. Somebody used a giant fan for something back in the day. But those are definitely pulling all that uh, hot air out. And what are these Siemens? So Siemens cement? How do you say that? Siemens? Siemens, but so what does it say? Synaptics? Synaptics. Synaptics G120X. Here's those, a 60 amp breaker. Yeah, so specifically, I think there should be universal. Oh, so those are mainly just for. 400 amps a pop. Yep. The ones up top are mainly for like for your water control. These are controlling probably Okay, your pumps. so these are your thermal sensors. Yeah, your pumps and your sensors is what I would what I would assume. Okay. Because you can plug in right here to read extra statuses of each individual. Okay. Ground, 24 volt in, ground, A1. 10 volt ground, 24 volt ground. That's good stuff. 400, 400, so each closet, there's four of these, are just like this. Yep. Um, switching, probably. Yes. And these fans are the 230 volt, uh, 0.63 amps. And again, you could probably uh, run these guys uh, to run effectively and efficiently for what you need. So this is the inside of one of the power banks uh, inside the IntelliFlex unit that, again, just takes intelligent monitoring of your farm facility, your immersion, uh, your ASICs, your liquid, everything. So if you're in the business and you're trying to get uh, kind of like an all-in-one system established, yes, the price is probably going to be high. Uh, but honestly, this is probably going to be the best of the best that you can get out there. Have the entire container, uh, the transformers, uh, AC units, power banks, mega box, and Teleflex 3, all of it shipped 
to your location. Uh, check them out. I have them linked down in the description and hit up Abby. But yeah, really good stuff. Really impressed with this overall setup. Well designed, using good technology and the Siemens uh, intelligent uh, management software. So really cool stuff. And if I'm on site, I can add somebody to manage this remotely as well. So you don't always have to have boots on the ground to see this. You could have somebody uh, remotely, you know, monitoring stuff, voltages, probably set custom variations for, hey, hey it's too hot, um, we're going to down clock, we're going to keep an eye on the liquid temperatures and make some adjustments from there. So good job to this team for doing that and I just wanted to do this quick video for them. I'll have everything linked down in the description and again a huge thanks to our sponsors who made all of this coverage of Minus Rub 2023 possible. I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out the links in the description. Not only go to our sponsors but it helps support the channel and what we do here. See you guys around.